all of my opinions about these movies are about my personal enjoyment, not about how good they are. I wanted to make something really cute for Halloween, so I looked for stuff and I found this really cute spider web top that everybody's been making and I thought it would be really cute and I could follow the tutorial well so you'll just have to see. Additionally to making the spider web top I decided to watch as many Halloween-ish related movies that I could while I made the top and we will see by the end of this video how many I've watched. So I started with a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a long time, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Honestly, I was really distracted through this whole movie and I had to watch some parts over again. Somebody was distracting me while I was working. So my thoughts about the movie, I loved the clowns, they were great, but all the parts with the human characters were a little boring to me. Without the clowns, there wasn't really any appeal. I think I will give Killer Clowns from Outer Space 8 Killer Shadow Puppets out of 10. Next movie I watched was Death Becomes Her. And I really like this one. <laughs> I know it's not exactly Halloween or horror or anything, but it's kind of, I mean, it's about death. So I figure that's good enough for Halloween. So I don't really want to give Death Becomes Her a 10 out of 10 because I, there were some parts in it I just really didn't like but I think I will give it 8 Immortality Potions out of 10. Next I watched Ghost Watch, which I recommend for the experience, but I know not everybody is going to enjoy it. It's a little slow, but the last like 15 minutes or so are like crazy. It was presented on TV like it was actually happening. And I thought that was really cool, but the backstory behind that, knowing that, doesn't really change my opinion of it, actually. <laughs> I think Ghost Watch is good, but it is a little slow. So, I think I would give it seven creepy thermal cam images out of ten. The next movie I watched was Devil. And I kind of cheated because I already knew what was going to happen. Since I knew what the ending was going to be, the rest of the movie was a little bit predictable. But that's my fault. <laughs> so honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because people used to say it's terrible, but I, I thought it was okay. I think I'll give Devil 5 jelly side down toast out of 10 because it wasn't bad but it wasn't great either so it's kind of middle of the road the next movie i watched was casper and i really remember loving it as a little kid and after re-watching it i think kid me was right it's just so cute and sweet there were some parts I didn't remember in there though, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of dark for a kid's movie. <laughs> so I'm going to give Casper 10 weird get ready machines out of 10. So yesterday I finished my first panel, and today I'm starting on my next one. Next I watched She Devil, which is another one of those not quite Halloween, but Halloween adjacent movies. So I think this one got recommended to me because I watched Death Becomes Her. They both have Meryl Streep in it. They're both kind of revenge driven movies in a way. I like this movie, but not 
as much as I thought I was going to because the revenge plot was really great. It was really fun, but a lot of the characters were really unbearable. I think She Devil deserves like 6.5 revenge plans out of 10. And then I watched Barbarian, which is very different from the past few movies I've watched. It almost starts out the way you think a thriller movie would, but then it takes just a complete 180. I was even lucky enough to catch my reaction to the end of that first little bit. So I think Barbarian is really interesting. It's weird, but it's interesting. <laughs> I think they could have done without the character Justin Long plays because, it, I don't know, he just seems so unnecessary to the plot. They could have done something else without having that character in there. I think I want to give Barbarian a 7, maybe 7.5 monster nose boops out of 10. The next movie I watched was The Craft, which I really enjoyed. It was good. I'm a sucker for movies about witches because I've kind of always been interested in them since Scooby-Doo and the Witches Ghost. I don't really have much to say about the movie other than I like it and I really liked a lot of the fashion choices for the main four girls. It was, it was nice. I want to give the craft nine awesome outfits out of ten. This next movie I'm really disappointed that I didn't like since I know what you did last summer. I really wanted to like it because I like slashers, but it just was not keeping my attention. So like maybe a little over halfway through, I turned it off. So that means I have to give I Know What You Did Last Summer four What Are You Waiting For's out of ten. Next, I watched another childhood favorite, Monster House. <laughs> I have a very vivid memory of renting this movie from Blockbuster and watching it on Christmas Day when I was little. I'm not sure why, but that's like stuck in my brain. <laughs> I just love it. It's really adorable. And the little friendship between the main characters and the old man at the end is really sweet. <laughs> so Monster House, I'll give nine vacuum dummies filled with cold syrup out of ten. So here's where I ran into an issue with my crochet project. So I thought I had made the front and back panels big enough to fit me so I could start sewing them together and working on the sleeves, but I was wrong. So instead of doing what I had planned, I had to make another panel. It's not exactly like the tutorial anymore. So follow this tutorial if you want it like this. but. Mine ended up being a little different. So while I worked on this last panel, I watched the Hell House LLC trilogy. I liked this series a lot. I really like found footage horror movies as you will see as we go on. I give Hell House LLC as a series 8 creepy clowns out of 10. Next I watched Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This movie is based off a series of children's books, which I purchased at my third grade book fair. That was a mistake. <laughs> I was a fraidy cat when I was little, so as soon as I read one of the stories and then I turned the page and one of those scary images was on the next page, I was just like, <laughs> I didn't even finish the book. I was just like, scary thing? No, thank you. The rest of the book's gotta go. Back onto the movie. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't like, wow, this is amazing. But I really enjoyed it. A lot of the special effects in the movie were really, really good and creepy. So I would not recommend this movie for children. As for my enjoyment though, I would give Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark nine toast stews 
out of 10. And after that movie, I got the entire body of the sweater done. Wow, I think the entire rest of my list is found footage. So the next movie I watched was the Poughkeepsie Tapes. And when I tell you, I don't think I have ever been unsettled so much by a movie before. <laughs> like some scenes in this movie, I just got so anxious. I, I got really tense and I was like, oh my goodness, what is going to happen? I think I'll give the Poughkeepsie Tapes an 8 out of 10 because it just kept my interest the whole time and I wanted to know what happened next and happened next, but I was creeped out the whole time, which I guess is the purpose of a horror movie. Next I watched The Taking of Deborah Logan and it was probably one of my favorites that I watched. It like takes a turn from being just sad to actually scary. The ending though, I do not like the ending. It was not good. So I give The Taking of Deborah Logan 10 dubs out of 10. My last three movies that I watched were VHS, VHS2, and VHS Viral. I feel like I was expecting more out of the series. I haven't watched the last three movies yet, but the first three, the second one is definitely the best. The first VHS wasn't bad, but it didn't live up to my expectations that people talk it up to be. And VHS Viral was just a mess. <laughs> That's why it's my least favorite out of the three. My favorite segment from the first one is probably 1031.98 because I liked the ending. It was so abrupt. My favorite segment from the second one is definitely Safe Haven. Everybody knows it's one of the best segments out of the whole series, so it's pretty good. VHS Viral is so bad, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I guess my favorite out of all of the segments is probably Parallel Monsters because it's so weird. So I'll give VHS 6.5 Glitch Monsters out of 10. I'll give VHS 2 9 Demon Babies out of 10. And I'm giving VHS Viral two weird glowing faces out of 10. Obviously, I'm going to keep watching scary movies, but that's all for this because I have finished my sweater. I moved so you can see my whole sweater. This is the finished result. It's not perfect, but I think it's cute. <laughs> so, if I'm counting right, I watched 18 and a half ish movies to make this sweater. I think I want to put some of the films in categories. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you had an okay time. I had a really fun time. Please like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks! Hey family, I'm serious. Some of those movies are really rough. <laughs>